Hello, I am not in my office. I am currently in a faraway place called Indiana. And I wanted to take a moment just to draw your attention to the fact that at Sunday Mass this weekend, we're going to hear from the Gospel of John, chapter 6. And there are some chapters in the Bible that really stand out, that are tremendously important to our religion as Catholics. Some chapters in the Bible really capture the heart of our relationship with God. I'm thinking about hmm, Luke chapter 15, or maybe the Gospel of John chapter 15, or maybe the letter of St. Paul to the Romans chapter 8. There are some chapters that really get at the heart of who we are as Catholic Christians. Well, one of those chapters for sure is the Gospel of John chapter 6. And we are actually going to, the whole church throughout the whole world, we are going to dwell on, meditate upon the Gospel of John chapter 6 at Sunday Mass throughout this month of August. In fact, we started last weekend. We heard the story of Jesus multiplying the loaves and the fishes. And yeah, that's from John chapter 6. But it continues. And Jesus in the gospel this weekend will begin his bread of life discourse. He will speak most explicitly about the gift of himself in the Eucharist, his body, blood, soul, and divinity. So here's what I'm saying. It would be really, really helpful for all of us to make time to read the Gospel of John chapter 6. Maybe not just once or twice, but three or four repeatedly all throughout the month of August to pray with that text, to ponder the Word of God found in the Gospel of John chapter 6. Jesus wants to speak to us so that we can deepen our devotion to the Eucharist, deepen our love for Christ in the Eucharist. Let us open our hearts to God's Word. Let us open up our hearts to the gift of Jesus in the Eucharist, so wonderfully explained in the Gospel of John, chapter 6.